So, and then we come to the third column which talks about um, the frequency. Frequency talks about um, how often. Remember, it's different from the decree that talks about um, how to what extent. But this one talks about how, ma how many times. That's the frequency. Frequency is about how many times, how often do you want it, you know, how often. If you can answer the question of how often, there's a T here, I'm sorry. Um, how often you want it, it talks about um, the frequency. Is it twice a day? Is it three times a day? Twice a day? Is it daily? Is it often? Is it frequent? Frequently? Is it um, never? Is it always? Is it occasionally? Is it seldom? Seldom means rarely, okay? Seldom means that um, it occurs rarely. It's another synonym of rarely. Is it, you see? Um, yeah, you see? Or is it usually or is it sometimes? Okay, how often do you see the doctor? Well, I see the doctor um, weekly. So it answers the question of how often, weekly, could it be another one, even though it's not here, weekly, you know, how often do you go, I go to um, the restroom frequently, how often do you go to the restroom, frequently, I see my mom, I talk to my mom daily, how often do you talk to your mom, I talk to my mom daily, and so how often talks about how, how many times, Okay, and then we go to place. Place answers the question of where. Where did you put it? Where did you go to? Where, it talks about the place, particular place, and it could be above, underneath, below, underneath is under, okay? Below, everywhere, out, in, outside, inside, there, um, near, um, here, so it's there, near, here, okay, and so he talks about the place. I put my bag um, underneath the bed, I put my bag under the table. So where is your bag? Oh, it's under the table. My glasses are on, are on the bed. Where are your glasses? And there are, okay, because you have one and two. So where are your glasses? Oh, they're on the bed or above, you know, you can put even on, they're on the bed. The kids are playing outside. Where are the kids? The kids are playing outside. And so frequency of place answers the question of where, talks about the location. It's almost like a preposition, remember? But it answers as far as the location is concerned, the place, where. And then that brings us to the last one that talks about time. Time talks about when precisely. If it answers the question of when, when are you going to the doctor? It answers the question of when. That gives you the adverb of time already. Early this morning, I already went. I went early this morning. Um, immediately, I would leave immediately. Um, later, lately, um, soon, today, tonight, tomorrow, yesterday, now. It tells you about when, if it answers your questions to when. For example, um, I will be leaving immediately after work for the airport. I will be leaving immediately after work for the airport. When are you leaving? I'll be leaving immediately. That tells you that it's a sequence of time. You know, um, I had breakfast. Oh, so when did you have breakfast? Did you have breakfast? Oh yes, I already had breakfast. Already had breakfast. It tells you that it's past, so that is time. Okay, um, tonight I'm meeting up with some friends tonight. When are you meeting up with some friends? Oh, we'll be meeting tonight, roughly around 8 9 p.m. I'll be meeting up with my friends tonight or later on today. So if you answer the questions of when, if you look at this at a paragraph, if you look at a sentence and you put yourself in, okay. What sequence is this? 
um, it's an adverb of what is it does it answer um, the questions of when of where of frequency of how much or of how then it tells you where you can place um, your adverb so these are basically the five columns as far as adverbs are concerned and there are lots of other examples okay students but um, just so you know what you should actually uh, remember and save are uh, the five columns the five degrees of uh, adverb of manner adverb of degree adverb of frequency adverb of place and adverb of time and how do you get to know which is which when you look at a paragraph or you look at a sentence it's simple pose yourself a bunch of questions under five main questions it will tell you which way to go okay and then if you ask yourself how is it done how is it supposed to be presented that tells you that it's manner if you ask yourself how much is it you know as far as quantity is concerned that tells you the degree to what extent how much or to what extent actually if i should put here what extent you know what extent um, it tells you the degree of it. Is it really, is it simply, is it, you know, somehow. And then if you ask yourself about how often, you know, number of times that it occurs, that you use, that you go, number of times, the frequency, how often, it puts you in a place of, of frequency. Frequency means multiple times, how much time, or how many times it occurs, okay? And if you pose yourself as far as, okay, um, the place, uh, the location, where is it supposed to be? It takes you to the place of the adverb of place. Is it underneath? Is it on top? Is it across? Is it above? Is it on the wall? Is it on the floor? Is it in the bag? Is it in between? All that tells you it's a place, it's an adverb of place. Okay? And then it comes out to the last one if you're thinking about when did it occur? When is it going to occur? And when, oftentimes, the adverb of time is either at the beginning that it's been used or at the end of a sentence. Okay? And so we are thinking about, oh, okay. Um, if you're posing a question of, so when did it occur? When is it going to occur? Is it going to occur? It takes you to the adverb of time. And time is not usually a.m. or p.m. It could be yesterday, today, now, tomorrow, um, next year. It's just a matter of time that you're specific about. Is it later? Is it soon? Is it past? Um, is it already? Is it early? Um, you know, is it at midnight? It's all about when. And so when is all about the time. And so in um, conclusion, these are actually um, the five different sections as far as adverbs are concerned even though like I said It's the normal the general rule is or the golden rule is to add a lee at the end of an adjective Because an adverb like I said kind of beautifies an, ad an adjective But um, but there are some words that you don't necessarily have to use a lee which is still an adverb Okay, and so um, get to know some of these words Try to do some exercises, we'll probably get to it maybe at the end of our session that we'll put some adverbs and we'll work together and see if you've had all the words, all the adverbs that are different from, from this and try to use them. Remember to always ask the question, to always pause for the question before in order to figure out in which column to place it, okay? Um, thank you for listening. Los